Léon Bloy, the 11th of July 1846 to the 3rd of November 1917, was a French novelist, essayist, pamphleteer, and poet. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Bloy was born in Notre Dame de Sanilhac, in the arrondissement of Perigo, Dordogne. He was the second of six sons of Voltairean freethinker and stern disciplinarian Jean-Baptiste Bloy and his wife Anne-Marie Corot, pious Spanish Catholic daughter of a Napoleonic soldier. After an agnostic and unhappy youth in which he cultivated an intense hatred for the Roman Catholic Church and its teaching, his father found him a job in Paris, where he went in 1864. In December 1868, he met the aging Catholic author Barbie Dorevely, who lived opposite him in Rue Rousselet and who became his mentor. Shortly afterwards, he underwent a dramatic religious conversion. Bloy was a friend of the author Joris Karl Heismans, the painter Georges Rouault and the philosophers Jacques and Rice Maritain, and was instrumental in reconciling these intellectuals with Roman Catholicism. However, he acquired a reputation for bigotry because of his frequent outbursts of temper. For example, in 1885, after the death of Victor Hugo, whom Bloy believed to be an atheist, Bloy decried Hugo's senility. Avarice and hypocrisy. Bloy's first novel, Le Désespéré, a fierce attack on rationalism and those he believed to be in league with it, made him fall out with the literary community of his time and even many of his old friends. Soon, Bloy could count such prestigious authors as Émile Zola, Guy de Maupassant, Ernest Renan, Alphonse Daudet, Joris Karl Heismans, Paul Bourget, and Anatole France as his enemies. In addition to his published works, he left a large body of correspondence with public and literary figures. He died in Bourg la Reine. Criticisms <coughs> 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 Bloy was noted for personal attacks, but he saw them as the mercy or indignation of God. According to Jacques Maritain, he used to say, My anger is the effervescence of my pity. Among the many targets of Bloy's attacks were people of business. In an essay in Pilgrim of the Absolute, he compared the businessmen of Chicago unfavorably to the cultured people of Paris. In Paris you have the Saint Chapelle and the Louvre, true enough, but we in Chicago kill 80,000 hogs a day. The man who says that is in truth a businessman. Our Lady of La Salette Inspired by both millennialist visionary Eugene Vintras and the reports of an apparition at La Salette, Our Lady of La Salette, Bloy was convinced that the Virgin's message was that if people did not reform, the end time was imminent. He was particularly critical of the attention paid to the shrine at Lourdes and resented the fact that it distracted people from what he saw as the less sentimental message of La Salette. Topic. Influence Bloy is quoted in the epigraph at the beginning of Graham Greene's novel The End of the Affair and in the essay, The Mirror of Enigmas by the Argentine writer Jorge Luis Borges, who acknowledged his debt to him by naming him in the foreword to his short story collection, Artifices, as one of seven authors who were in the heterogeneous list of the writers I am continually re-reading. In his novel The Harp and the Shadow, Alejo Carpentier excoriates Bloy as a raving, Columbus-defending lunatic during Vatican deliberations over the explorer's canonization. Bloy is also quoted at the beginning of John Irving's A Prayer for Owen Meany, and there are several quotations from his letters to my fiancé in Charles Williams's anthology The New Christian Year. La Désespéré was republished in 2005 by Editions Underbon with a preface by Maurice G. Dantec. In Chile historian Jamie Isaguire came to be influenced by Bloy's writings. According to the historian John Connolly, Blois Le Salou par les Juifs, with its apocalyptically radical interpretation of chapters 9-11 of Paul's letter to the Romans, had a major influence on the Catholic theologians of Vatican Council II responsible for Section 4 of the Council's Declaration Nostra Aetate, the doctrinal basis for a revolutionary change in the Catholic Church's attitude to Judaism. In 2013, Pope Francis surprised many by quoting Blois during his first homily as Pope, Blois and his effect on 20 21st century French scholars make a significant appearance in Michel Helbig's 2015 novel submission. 
Topic works topic novels La Désespérée 1887 Despairing La Femme Pauvre 1897 The Woman Who Was Poor Topic essays Propos d'une entrepreneur de démolitions 1884 The Munition Merchant's Plan Le Salut par les Juifs 1892 Salvation Through the Jews Je m'accuse 1900 I Accuse Myself in response to Émile Zola's 1898 open letter J'accuse Exegesi des Leo Communes 1902-12 Exegesis of the Commonplaces Belwares et Porchers 1905 Gladiators and Swineherds Sela qui pleure 1908 She Who Weeps Le Sang du Pauvre 1909 Blood of the Poor Le May de Napoleon 1912 Napoleon's Soul Sur la Tombe de Heismans 1913 On Heismans Tomb Jean d'Arc et Lillemain 1915 Joan of Arc and Germany Topic Short Stories Suer de Sang 1893 Sweating Blood Blood, Histoires des Obligences 1894, Disagreeable Tales, Topic Diaries, Le Mendiant Ingrat 1898, The Ungrateful Beggar, Mon Journal 1904, My Diary, Catra ans de Captivité à Cochon sur Marne 1905, Four Years of Captivity in Cochon sur Marne, L'Invendable 1909, The Unsaleable, Le Vieux de la Montaigne 1911, The Old Man from the Mountain, Le Pèlerin de l'Absolu 1914, The Pilgrim of the Absolute, Au Sueil de l'Apocalypse 1916 On the Threshold of the Apocalypse La Porte des Humbles Post, 1920 The Door of the Lowly A Useful Study in English as Léon Bloy by Rainer Hepenstahl Cambridge, Bows and Bows, 1953 <laughs> Quotations Love does not make you weak, because it is the source of all strength, but it makes you see the nothingness of the illusory strength on which you depended before you knew it. See also Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links Works by Leon Bloy at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Leon Bloy at Internet Archive